The Q1 is a non-invasive wearable device that uses vibration to alleviate a range of Parkinson's symptoms, including slowness and stiffness of movement and freezing of gait. In this video, we'll go through how to set up and start using your Q1. In the box, you'll find the Q1 housed in its charging dock, which also has a swing-out drawer containing the adhesives used to wear the Q1. In the lid of the box, you'll also find the full instruction manual and the USB charging cable. Your Q1 should arrive with some charge, but you may wish to top up the battery. To charge your Q1, insert the smaller end of the included charging cable into the port on the rear of the dock. Insert the larger end of the cable into any standard USB port, such as on a computer or phone charger wall plug. Next, place the Q1 onto its charging cradle, ensuring the gold contacts on the back of the device align with the two pins on the dock. A simple way to do this is to ensure the two dots on the face of the device are horizontal when placed on the dock. Gently press the Q1 into place to ensure proper contact. If the dock is plugged into a USB power source, the light ring on the Q1 should turn amber to indicate charging. When the battery is fully charged, the ring will turn green. To activate the vibration, simply press the large central button once. To deactivate the vibration, press the button again. If you have any trouble with the function of the Q1, you can reset the device by holding the button down for at least 20 seconds and then releasing. To ensure the reset is successful, you can hold down the button while vibration is running. You will know you've held it long enough when the vibration stops, then you can release the button. The Q1 will go through a short reset process and should then resume normal function. We recommend you try placing the Q1 on a few locations up and down your sternum while the vibration is running. This is to get a feel for the most comfortable and effective position to secure the adhesive. Look for a flat spot where the Q1 has good firm contact with your body. Once you've found your preferred location, you can place the adhesive patch there. To open the drawer containing the adhesive patches used to wear your Q1, gently hold the dock on the top and bottom with one hand, without squeezing too hard, and use the other to swing the drawer out in a clockwise direction. To help you locate the drawer, you will find a textured arrow on the rear of the dock, indicating the best placement for your finger, and the direction the drawer should swing open. There is a hole in the bottom of the drawer which may help you remove the adhesives more easily. Once you're ready to wear the device, first make sure your sternum is clean and dry. You may also wish to remove any chest hair. Take an adhesive and remove one half of the backing paper to reveal the sticky surface, being careful not to fold it over on itself. Hold the side with the backing paper still attached and place the patch on your preferred sternum location. If you're happy with the location, remove the second piece of backing paper and firmly press the adhesive down to make sure it's secure. It is waterproof and sweatproof and will last for roughly 14 days, at which point it can be replaced. The adhesive is medical grade and hypoallergenic, but if you feel any irritation, please remove it immediately. Please pat the adhesive dry after bathing to extend its life and avoid irritation. Replacement adhesive patches are available through our website. Your device will come with a white backing pre-attached which will reversibly attach to the patch you placed on your sternum. When putting the device on, make sure to line up the rubber protrusion with the hole in your patch and press down to ensure a good contact and firm attachment. Your Q1 is now ready to use. If you want to remove it, for example to charge battery, use one hand to hold down the patch on your sternum while using the other to gently pull the cue off. You should hear this sound, and the adhesive patch should remain on your skin. Over time, the backing on the device may collect dust and become less sticky. One new backing is included in each adhesive patch refill pack available through our website. If you want to replace it, carefully remove the one currently attached to your Q1 by peeling it away from the edge. It is a strong adhesive, so you may require some help. Please hold the plastic rear of your Q1 down while pulling away this backing to prevent accidental separation. 
Apply the new backing in a similar way to your sternum patch, removing one piece of backing paper first and taking care to line up the hole so as not to cover the charging contacts. We hope you find your Q1 easy and simple to use, but if you have any questions or need any help, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us by emailing support at sharkoneurotech.com.